Hey guys, um, I can't really talk that loud because it's really late at night and the person downstairs is sleeping. So I'm just gonna hope that this video comes out where you can hear it. I'm sorry if you have to turn up your volume. And uh, secondly, I want to apologize for my room. It's kind of a mess, but it's like almost three o'clock in the morning where I am. And uh, I was tired of dealing with a lot of things. Um, I'm just wore out of everything that I've gone through. And uh, I woke up tonight. I, first of all, I didn't really sleep that well yesterday. And then I went to bed tonight and I got up like maybe two hours after I went to sleep. And I was sitting in the living room and I started to get cramps in my colon, which I haven't gotten for a while. Um, but in part because I've been eating, you know, better foods like, you know, uh, vegetables with high fiber and stuff like that. So I managed to keep that at bay. But it was just like I was getting cramps and I had to go to the bathroom. And I know this isn't a pleasant conversation, but I went because I like barely made it to the bathroom. Like, I mean, it's like my body was just like, it was like I had to go. And I go and there's blood again. And I haven't had that since maybe a year ago. Um, I think it was about that. And now it's like, okay, I was planning on getting the colon scope done and it was going to happen anyway, but now it's like, I know I have to, but now I feel rushed. And being that my mother had colon cancer and ultimately died from that, <clears throat> and my grandfather, well, my great grandfather, oh yeah, my grandfather, I never met him because he died of uh, stomach cancer that spread to his lung and to his pancreas. It just, it really bothers me that I have so many problems with my body. And the truth of the matter is, I don't want to, I've turned into the person who does these videos and does a blog because I'm inside a lot, um, because I don't feel well a lot. And I don't want to be that person. You know, I don't want to be the person who's sick all the time. It's exhausting. It's, uh, I'm sure a purpose for me is to help people, but sometimes I don't want to help people. I want to be like everybody else, you know. I just want to uh, be normal, and I'm not, and it just sucks. It sucks so bad because people take for granted um, sleeping on a regular schedule. People take for granted standing without having high heart rates. Um, take for granted not having lung surgery and just everything and it's just I, I want sometimes it to stop and I just don't want to do it anymore and um, <clears throat> I feel pressured now it's like okay I have to have the colon scope done but at the same time I'm still I have to be investigated for the dysautonomia pots and I know I have that problem and I know that I have problems with my heart skipping and problems with Ingest, indigestion and problems with my eyes. Um, actually, even with my eyes, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before. The reason why I record at the angle that I do is when I'm tired or something. One of my eyes is actually not, well, I can't do it because I have it at the angle, but it's not even completely even anymore. It's just like, a, sometimes it's like not a lazy eye, but it's like something else. And I don't know. And I feel as if um, maybe some of this stuff wouldn't be so bad getting tested for if I actually felt that there was compassion um, from medical doctors. I have yet to find that. I don't like where I live. Um, I feel forced to stay here because after my mom died, of course, there's just my father. Um, and I'm never sure completely if Keith will because we had broke up once before, I'm never sure if he will uh, just leave and there will be in some other state. I just find, I don't know. I just wish sometimes I could get in my car and just drive away. But the problem is, is no matter where I drive, there I'll be, I'll still be sick. It'll still be me. I can't escape any of these problems. And uh, I try to be grateful. I have a uh, friend um, who's quadriplegic, and so I should be thankful, I should be thankful that I can stand 
even if it's a problem for me. I should be thankful that as of yet I don't have a cancer diagnosis. Um, and I know so many people who have had it. I know people who have died from it. My, my friend, my mother. And I feel like I'm always fighting this losing battle and I'm only 35 years old and I don't want to be fighting the battle anymore. I just it just seems like it, it never stops and this has been going on for so long in my life I just want so badly for it to stop I don't want to make another crying YouTube video I did that once before I hated that I always want to take it down it's just uh, I just feel so tired and then there's these days where I feel good and I think yeah I'm beating it I'm beating whatever it is and and then it just it either comes back or I have some new symptom. I feel really alone a lot of times. You know, people think that I uh, am having problems because my mother died and it's so weird. It's like so much almost selfish. I don't have problems because my mother's dead. I didn't have people blame my illness when it started. Well, not when it started, but when it got the worst, people said, well, it's because you're so worried about your mother because she has cancer. And I got sick months, very violently sick months before she was even diagnosed. And it's always wants to be put on emotional things. And people say, oh, well, but you seem sad now. Well, I think a normal person would be sad now. It's just exhausting. Um, and now that she's dead, of course, it's that. I mean, I wouldn't even tell a new doctor that that even happened because it's just going to be, oh, you're upset about that. And I should be upset about that, but the honest to God truth is I don't have the time to be upset about it. I'm so busy and so focused on myself and so worried and trying to get a diagnosis of something or dreaming of a day that I feel better that I don't think about it. I don't feel anything towards it. I'm scared of having to even go through it. Like, I mean, sometimes it does cross my mind that, especially when there's blood like tonight and stuff, like what if I did have colon cancer? I mean, I doubt it because of my age, but it can happen anyway. But let's just say that. What the hell? You know? I want my life on this earth to be long so I have an opportunity to share what I know with people and to uh, help people. But I feel like I can't do that until I'm more well. Because as long as I'm sick, it's draining my energy and I have this problem where people want help from me and I can't give it. And I feel that I should be able to. I feel that I should be able to do more than what I can do. I mean, yeah, I do YouTube videos and blogs, big whoop. It's not enough for what I want. Um, I'm tired of being poor. I'm so tired of being poor, and I'm not even as poor as you can get, believe me. I'm lucky that I have what I have, but, and, and thank God I got rid of being materialistic years ago. Um, that's a blessing there that I got rid of that, but the thing is, is sometimes you just want to see a whole bunch of books you want and see a whole bunch of clothing that you probably need. <laughs> And you can't get it. And you can't work no matter, even if you wanted to. Like, granted, I don't want to have some of the jobs I've had. I've always had these uh, entry-level jobs, and I brought that up before. And the people who work them and the bosses, it just absolutely drains me. And on top of it draining me because of their personality and lack of being able to think and uh, lack of surface talking, it just makes me tired and drained because I have nothing that in common with any of those people. And at the same time, 
I don't have the energy to get a job or go back to school for what I would want. And there used to be a time before it was possible that I could have worked on the internet. I could have uh, done a full-time job, I believe, because I wasn't that bad off. And now, you know, people say that, oh, you should work online. And I couldn't do a time job online because I can't predict what hours I will sleep. I can't predict um, if I'm going to be able to eat or how I'll feel. And it's almost as if I know in my heart that I was sick for years before the benzo withdrawal. And then when that happened, after I came off that medication, it just, it got worse. And then it healed up to about back to where I was with some added features that I didn't have before. Um, I think a lot of times people think I'm lazy. I think they think that I don't want to work or... And every time that if I'm running short on cash, which is always, and I ask my father, like, you know, I got to fill my gas tank, or it just feels awful to do. I don't know what I will do as far as later in life, but the unknown is so upsetting to me. I don't know, like, I mean... I go on this thing where, you know, people make plans, they say, okay, but no plans are guaranteed, but they finish college, they get a job, they get married, they have kids, they, you know, there's all this organization, and yeah, of course you can have a car accident along the way and die, but I can't plan tomorrow. I can't plan a week from now. I feel just absolutely trapped. And, uh, you know, it's, it's like... People would say, oh, well, see a therapist. Okay, well, maybe I will see a therapist with everything I have to go through, and I have before, but what the hell are they going to say that I haven't already read, that I don't already know? There's nothing that they can do about it. Um, I don't know, and I get drained because, like, I... I get so uh, lonely sometimes that I pull in certain friends online even, which I had talked about before, that end up not being good for me, and I just, I cling to certain things, and that's not good, because you end up with people that you really don't need in your life, and you're trying to substitute them for people that should be in your life and just aren't, or maybe trying to replace something that you never even had in your life. Um, I have a very hard time feeling love coming from anybody. You could be, at this point, the nicest person. I have been so hurt, so jaded, so scared, so gone through so much that I would appreciate it. And I would like you, and we'd be friends. I could be friends with somebody, but I just, that experience of laying down and feeling cared about, I don't feel it, and what really scares me is besides maybe one relationship that I can think of a long time ago, I don't think I've ever had that feeling. And when would you have time to, between the vomiting and the dizziness and, you know, and being told in all those years I wasted believing that it was all in my head. You know, I'm sure they did the best they could when they thought that it was, but now that I know that it's not, and there's more information out there than had ever been out previous. I mean, things that I know about now, they didn't even have knowledge of until, like, 1995, so I can't fully blame them, but what I do blame now is people who don't listen. And when I say people, I mean doctors who just don't listen. Um... Let's face it, my video is almost 15 minutes long. It's about three times longer than what you get with a doctor. I even got emotional during the video, so I would immediately need antidepressants. <sighs> so anyway, that's just what's going on, and I just felt like making a video, and um, I'll do one eventually again. All right, talk to you later. Bye. I've gotten for a while. Um,
but in part because I've been eating, you know, better foods like, you know, uh, vegetables with high fiber and stuff like that. So I managed to keep that at bay, but it was just like I was getting cramps. I had to go to the bathroom. I know this isn't a pleasant conversation, but I went because I like barely made it to the bathroom. Like, I mean, it's like my body was just like, it was like I had to go and I go and there's blood again. And I haven't had that since maybe a year ago. Um, I think it was about that. And now it's like, okay, I was planning on getting the colon scope done and it was going to happen anyway. But now it's like, I know I have to, but now I feel rushed. And being that my mother had colon cancer and ultimately died from that <clears throat> and my grandfather well, my great-grandfather, oh yeah, my grandfather. Hey guys, um, I can't really talk that loud because it's really late at night and the person downstairs is sleeping. So I'm just gonna hope that this video comes out where you can hear it. I'm sorry if you have to turn up your volume. And uh, secondly, I want to apologize for my room. It's kind of a mess, but it's like almost three o'clock in the morning where I am and uh, I was tired of dealing with a lot of things. Um, I'm just wore out of everything that I've gone through and uh, I woke up tonight. I, first of all, I didn't really sleep that well yesterday and then I went to bed tonight and I got up like maybe two hours after I went to sleep and I was sitting in the living room and I started to get cramps in my colon, which I haven't.